Hey Math Kids, today we're going to talk about how to convert from radians to degrees um, and from degrees back to radians. So the first, the first thing we should do is talk about a couple key things. So an entire circle is 360 degrees. An entire circle is also 2 pi. So those are like equivalent to each other. Now half a circle is 180 degrees. And so half a circle, if we cut this in half, is just pi. So this is actually the key to our conversion. So if I'm given something, let's say 90 degrees, and I want to convert that into radians, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by a ratio on this. Now notice that when we're in radians, this is degrees, um, we almost always have pi in the answer, and so I use that as a mnemonic to say, well, I'm going to multiply this by pi over 180. Because that's really like, kind of like a special one, right? Because pi and 180 are uh, the same thing when we're talking about these two different um, measurement techniques. Um, and so if I multiply that out, I just get 90 pi over 180. And if I reduce that fraction, it reduces to pi halves. And so pi halves and 90, pi halves radians and 90 degrees are the same thing. Cool? All right. Um, <clears throat> now, if we want to go the other way, let's say we're given pi thirds radians. Well, we're going to use the same thing, but we're going to flip it upside down because our goal is to cancel the pi. Because when we're in degrees, we don't want pi in our answer. And so I'm going to multiply this by 180 over pi. So notice it's the reciprocal of what I multiplied by um, before. The pi's cancel. I'm left with 180 over 3. If I divide that, I get 60 degrees. So 60 degrees is the same thing as pi thirds radians. So just to quickly like sum that up, if we're going from degrees into radians, we want to we want pi in our answer, and so we're going to use pi over 180. If we're going from radians to degrees, we're going to multiply by 180 over pi. And the way I remember that is I'm trying to cancel the pi that's probably already in the problem, like right here. If you need additional help with this, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculate it.